And so you end up in this situation right now where a lack of strategy again means you've got another attack on the nation state in the caliphate's idea you simply remove borders. They're literally bulldozing the border between Iran and, excuse me, Iraq and Syria. But their whole idea is one that is based on an assumption that the Americans will not ask one fundamental question. And that question is, is political Islam in the best interests of the United States? I suggest the answer is no, but then, you know, we, we need to have the discussion. If we won't even ask the question, then how do we ever get to the point of recognizing which is our side in the fight? And if we don't take our own side in this fight, we are leaving others adrift. I just got back from Cairo, spent uh, four days there, and they are beyond the point of accepting that this is incompetent or a lack of strategic thinking. They believe now even the more cosmopolitan people there are trying to say, you've got to be intending this. You've got to mean that you really do like the Muslim brothers and uh, who, by the way, just had an audience down here at Foggy Bottom in this town. It is very hard. I had a young lady take me aside, and she said, does your country's leaders, do they understand that my mother was educated, I have my advanced degree from a university in, in uh, England, do they understand that if the brothers or these other guys take over, and they're all swimming in, she put it, in the same sea, that you're looking at the last generation of educated women in Egypt. Do they understand this? I said, no, probably not. Because if they understood it, they, they would do something about it. Because as Churchill put it, you know, once you exhaust all possible alternatives, the Americans will do the right thing, you know? But we have not even come to the point of grasping the question, of honestly asking the question.